Ooh, my new Mega Paint set is here. Look at that. All right, I'm just gonna stick this on my storage shelf. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Huh. Hey folks, Dave here. I'm in my shop today and I'm gonna take a page out of Adam Savage's playbook. And that playbook says that if you come to your shop, you don't really have a project to work on, work on shop infrastructure. So I'm gonna to spend today solving a problem that I've actually had for quite some time. And that problem is paint storage. My shop is in my basement and it's fairly small and confined. It's There's some room for storage, but it's not a lot. So when I laid out this shop in the early pandemic days, I optimized it for the type of stuff that I thought I was going to be doing. And the stuff I thought I was going to be doing was building dioramas for action figures. I typically use uh, what I call craft paints, which are these paint bottles here. I'm sure you've seen them if you've ever gone to a craft store. I actually have a drawer that I bought specifically sized to handle this type of paint. And that actually works really well. I started getting into painting miniatures and miniatures requires different paint. I mean, they come in these little bottles right here. So I actually bought a few of these when I was doing dioramas because some of these small paints have unique colors that are kind of handy for some detail work. But when I started painting miniatures, I quickly realized that all the different colors and different types of paints, like metallic paints and washes and just regular color paints, airbrush paints, all of those were taking up way more space than I had allotted for in my storage rack here which is a problem because I've run out of place to store these paints. And I finally went onto a uh, 3D model website called Thingiverse, and I actually found a solution that I think will work. And that solution is these models here, which store these paints on their side. So I printed off a couple samples on my 3D printer to try them out. And these are the models here. They're actually, the heck comes with a, a base and a series of tubes you can stack on top of them so they're stacked on top of each other and then the paints actually slip in pretty well uh, in like that so i thought why don't i just print off as many of these as i need now luckily if you look over here i have this shelf space here that contains just a bunch of action figures and various other things and it's really kind of a mess and it's super dusty because we did some renovations down here and they kicked up some dust and I just haven't cleaned it up yet. So I did some measurements of this space and I figure I can actually get 18 maybe 19 paints across the bottom and 10 rows up which will give me 180 to 190 storage spots for paint probably way more than I actually need. There's another type of paint that I have, which actually comes in these smaller bottles here. And what I figured I would do is I would take out four rows of these and print off some larger ones that are three wide, um, that is just big enough to hold the fatter paint cans. And then if I put it all together, it should all fit in roughly the same space. So I took the model for these here and I imported it into a program called Tinkercad and I used it to enlarge the 3D file and then I printed it off just to see how it would work. So here it is and you can see this paint can here just slides in like butter. Uh, so that solution is actually gonna work. So my order of operations is this, I need to clean off my workstation here, clean off all of this shelf space here so I can actually start building the paint thing. Let's be honest, what I'm probably gonna do is just take all the stuff that's over here and move it off camera, and then when this video is over, I'm just gonna move it all back. But just for the sake of this video, between you and me, let's just pretend that I actually cleaned up my shop, okay? All right, let's get to it. So all that's left now is the printing. Oh man, so much printing.
So after two weeks of printing, I finally got everything that I need for this build. So all I have to do is install it. But the first step is to figure out, will it fit in here? Let's find out. One more piece. Will it fit like a glove? It's almost like I planned this. Oh wait, I did. I love it when a plan comes together, don't you? Yeah. All right, on to the next thing. So I glued everything up and everything's now secure for the paint holders, but I need something behind them to kind of keep them from falling over. So I looked in my old store of things and it turns out I actually have the back for that shelf that I never actually used when I installed it, but I kept it around. So what I'm gonna do is slide this in the back of the shelf and this will be my backboard so I can push the paint stand up against it and everything will be nice and secure. So everything's now secure, so I'm just gonna throw in all the paints that I own and just to make sure everything's working the way I think it is going to be. I'm not gonna bother about sorting the colors, I'll do that later. All right, it's done. So every single paint pot that I own is now in this stand and there's still plenty of room for expansion. So that's gonna pay off dividends in the future. And also I can reach every single paint and return it quickly. And that's gonna make painting miniatures much more convenient in the future. And if you wanna see what miniatures I paint next, please hit that subscribe button to follow along. Oh, as for that unsorted paint thing, I'll let me just take care of that right now. All right, that's it for me. Cheers.